Hi, this is Rachel, and I'm with Variety Radio Online as Icon 2014. And with us, we have Paul. All right, so um, this is your second Icon. Mm -hmm. How are you enjoying things so far? Well, I feel like an old pro now. Like the, the, the last one, I was just getting the hang of the whole thing. Was that your first one last yeah. time? Yeah. yeah this, so it's been it's been a year now, and I've done a few different ones all over the, the country since then. So I kind of understand what I'm here for now. Mm -hmm. Just the first time, I was like, "What is happening?" <laughs> um, but now I feel, I feel kind of on top of it. So I, I really enjoy myself now. I just you know know what's required of me. I know what I want to get out of it. And, um, it's just so fun because everybody's so nice, and mm. you know, it's just a weekend of people being really over the top nice to you. So, as um, a narcissist, it's just the perfect weekend. <laughs> like you just turn up and, and reflect, try and reflect some of it back to, to all the attendees. Yeah. Okay. So Alexander got killed off on the Vampire. Very much so. Yes. But overall, and anything, okay, anything you filmed, what was your favorite scene you have ever filmed out of all? Oh, of everything you've done. It's a lot of stuff now. Favorite scene. Yeah. But man, I guess the thing that really sticks out is um, it's not a particularly good piece of acting or anything. It's um, it was more just the experience of it. I, you know, I did this Hercules thing about ten years ago now. Um, but in one of the scenes, I you know it's one of these things that you read in the script. You know, oh, that's, that's cool. It's basically this big long page of me doing this statement or prayer to all the gods. And on the page it was like, oh, that's a lot to learn, all right, I better start memorizing that. But on the day it was incredible because they had me out on the edge of a cliff on one of the tallest mountains in New Zealand, which they'd flown me up to. And um, it was just me all by myself because the camera was on a helicopter that was flying around to get all these epic shots off. And it was just the coolest thing ever, like standing on the edge of a mountain you know, full costume, the wig and everything, screaming out this stuff. Oh, it's a helicopter flying around um, filming it all. Um, you know, there's other better emotional stuff that I've done where I had a real connection with the, act, the, act, the other actor or, um, or the scene, but that was just so, such a movie yeah. moment. I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, it, you know, they, they flew me up here, they're going to fly me back. This is making movies. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's probably yeah. my favorite. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> pretty cool. Alright, so if Alexander was still alive, what Which he is in the hearts yeah, and minds yeah, of Vampire Diaries and original fans. He's still alive, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, if he was still there and still around, what do you think like his storyline would be or what would you want to see with his character? Trying to kill Klaus at all at all times. Just constantly like, I, I, I so imagine he'd probably him, be on the original. Yeah, I imagine him like you know, in some like hit somewhere recovering from his injuries where it cause, you know, I guess whatever spell brought me back into modern day keeps me alive but it doesn't necessarily protect me from anything. So I got all blown up by the car bombs. So I feel like burnt and wounded and all my hair is gone. I feel like just looking at pictures of Klaus, like, oh, I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him. Um, yeah, so I'd, I'd wanna... Well, Technically, Rebecca's the one that bleed up. Yeah, but it still, it still comes down to Klaus killing me back in the day. Um, I would love to play all that stuff out, like do some more flashbacks of like, you know, when me and my boys went in and attacked them, and then Klaus's revenge on us. I think you know, there's loads you could do with that, it'd be super fun. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to see him in the modern day, struggling with being a thousand year old um, weird weirdo from Scotland, walking around the modern day, trying to like get back with Rebecca somehow. It's like, hey baby, I'm sorry you misunderstood what was going on. But yeah, that, 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 that's what I'd like. Vengeance and lust, which is what it's all. About. It's what the shows are all about, really anyway. Is, yeah. mm -hmm. um, what's been your craziest or most memorable fan experience for you? Um, well, there was there was some good stuff going on last night for sure at the eighties party. Um, some most memorable fan experience. Well, okay, so I was up in Canada and was really, 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 really late on my flight getting back to LA. And um, I get stressed at airports anyway. I'm not happy until I'm like, on the plane and, and all my bags are you know, stowed away. I've got my seatbelt on. Just, <sighs> all right, fine. And um, it was super stressing, like trying to get through security. And um, 
the line was just so long, and I was really concerned I was going to lose my flight. And then somebody in the queue recognised me from NCIS, and then one of the TSA guys, and all TSA people watch NCIS all the time, it's like their favourite, anybody in law enforcement watches that show, apparently, because it's got me out of so many like speeding tickets, and just like general, it's very, if you can get on NCIS, like, or make your interactions with law enforcement much better. Um, and so all the, you know, the security people were like, oh, it's, oh, you played the Marine, oh, can they yeah. skip me through, and like, you know, I had to like quickly sign an autograph, like, okay, but they got me on the plane in time, I was like, I mean, that wasn't crazy, but it was awesome, like, it was the most benevolent abuse of power I've ever seen those people do, so, uh, so yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, that's awesome, making your flight on time. Do you have any upcoming projects that you can talk about? Well, the big one is um, the new Call of Duty game, which comes out in like two days, I think. Um, I know it's just a video game, but I got to work with Kevin Spacey, which is yeah. not, not, not that not doesn't good. suck. Like, <laughs> he's amazing and so funny and cool. Um, yeah, it was an absolute dream. Because when I signed on to the job, I didn't know he was doing it, and it was a great surprise. And like, oh, so Kevin Spacey's playing your dad. I was like, I'm sure that's not the way they put it to him. Like, oh, you'll be playing Paul Telford's father. I'm he, sure he's I'm like, sure he here is mul multiple millions of dollars. Please come and play with these monkeys and their <laughs> leotards and, and green dots all over their face. But no, it's really cool. That's really awesome. All right, so we're going to do a quick game of this or that. Okay. Vampire Diaries edition, because we're at Icon. All right, are you ready? I'm, I just want to be. Okay. Yeah. Vampire or werewolf? Werewolf. Witch or ghost? Witch. Damon or Stefan? Yes, Damon. Elena or Catherine? Elena. Right, you know. right. And the last one is fast healing or compulsion? Fast healing, because I'm a bit klutzy and I'm always injuring. Like, yeah, 100%. Because I feel like I can already compel people to do certain I mean, things like just by being manipulative and, and like, yeah, and my, my very low level of fame, I, I used to compel, like, you know. TSA, TSA agents and such, <laughs> but um, fast healing because I'm constantly injuring myself. Like right now, I've got like a, a messed up my elbow, my shoulders sore, a little thing in my lower back, and I never take time off from the gym, so I'm constantly re-injuring old injuries. So yeah, fast healing, please. That would be awesome. Right. Can well, you make that happen? Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. Um, I think I'm handing out. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Very well, well done. Well done. <laughs> Um, check us out on Variety Radio online, and we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>